Welcome to A-Level Graphic Communication. I'm Leah White, I'm the course leader. So graphics is um, about using combinations of image and text to send messages and create meaning. It's a way of communicating directly and succinctly using visual means. It uses photography, drawing, symbols, typography, collage, painting, and digital de design to convey concepts, emotions, and data. So in this PowerPoint, I'm just gonna talk through what we do on the course and um, just show you a few examples of the sorts of graphics that we make. Um, graphics is everywhere, it's all around us. It's in the supermarkets, it's in the magazines we read, it's all our packaging, all our bottles of um, Coke and water, um, it's book jackets, it's music graphics, um, record covers, posters, it's the apps on your phone, it's literally everywhere. You're being bombarded with it all the time. So in A-level graphic communication, you can illustrate. We illustrate on the computer. We use the Adobe Suite. We learn to use Photoshop and Illustrator. Um, we also learn to use InDesign. But some people really enjoy handmade techniques, so um, we also use watercolour, ink and pens and pencils. We create brand identities uh, that doesn't just involve logos, although it does, you will design logos. Um, it might also go into advertising or layout design, packaging, uh, for instance. You might create music graphics. Um, you might create uh, record covers, um, short pieces of moving graphics, posters, um, festival graphics, promotional material. Um, we'll learn, you'll learn about layout. You'll create um, magazines and infographics and learn um, about grids and columns and what good layout is. Uh, graphics is book designs and posters. Um, students historically have done this um, with lots of different methods using both digital and handmade techniques. We also look at some animation. Students, this is a first year student, um, quite a simple little animation. He was making a skate brand and this was a little skate animation that went with it. It was a frame by frame drawing. And here's another simple little animation from a first year project. This was um, for a clothing brand that she called Urbane. Um, you'll create digital sketchbooks. We work um, in either PowerPoint or InDesign. Uh, InDesign perhaps when you're a bit later on in the course when you've got more confident with the Adobe Suite. Um, so these are some examples of some, some digital sketchbooks. Um, you'll have an exhibition, you'll present your work uh, at the end of the personal investigation. There's a range of work here. This girl created a magazine. Um, this, uh, this chap was really interested in technical drawing. This chap it created a invented a brand about space travel <clears throat> and this chap uh, created character designs for an invented game we have here some snowboard designs um, this was a skateboard magazine called banks this was um, about vintage caravanning and we also have some record covers here and some music graphics so the structure of the course, the first year is filled with um, lots and lots of workshops to expose you to as many different ways of making graphics as possible. So in the first year, you will make um, a, a brand identity for a shop um, and you'll make some clothing tags and you'll make a logo. I particularly like this little human made out of the letters of human. We will uh, work on illustrations. We'll work on vector illustrations, Photoshop illustrations, 
printmaking and handmade illustrations. And then we'll look at layout as well um, and advertising. So those are the three main projects in year one. In the second year, uh, you may do a project called a personal investigation. Uh, I, this project is a, is a big project. It needs to be personal to you. And with my help, you come up with an idea and you build a project um, that you, where you write your own brief. Um, there's some examples of things people have done. They've done character design, brand identity for an arts venue called The Experience. Um, up here we have uh, a brand that was um, a youth uh, summer camp called Spark. Um, we've got a rebranding of Andover College and um, some football graphics here. So people come up with all sorts of different ideas for their second year personal investigations. In graphics, uh, graphic communication is an excellent choice for a future career. And the best way into a future career in graphics is to study at degree level. So there's lots of different options for degree level study um, from general graphic design or graphic communication to more specific things where you can study editorial design or moving graphics um, or illustration or animation. So there's lots of avenues. Um, here are just some famous graphic design that you'll be familiar with. Um, the I Heart NY from Milton Glaser, which is now so famous that we hardly think of it as design. Um, there's music graphics and book covers and Saul Bass's legendary uh, poster for um, Vertigo. The Penguin Classics, um, the Google logo. So once you start looking, you'll see graphic design everywhere. Uh, you'll see it in the road signs, in the magazines, in the shops, uh, in comics and graphic novels, in illustration and record covers, in logos and identities. You'll see it in advertising, book jackets and packaging, um, in character design and in graffiti. We've had some really successful students go on uh, to have fabulous careers in graphic communication. Curtis Page now works for Drive Tribe and Food Tribe, which is a company founded by Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond and James May. And he, this is a little few examples of his work. And Katie Chambers, uh, has a, a company she set up her own graphic design company locally uh, and there's a few examples of her work here um, so that's just the briefest of introductions to graphic communication um, if you have any questions please feel free to contact the college or to contact me and i'll put my email down below okay thanks very much